Good morning, this is Scott Johnson. I am here in Seward, Alaska. We're at the Seward Mariners Memorial. I'm here for a little time of remembrance, a time of memorial for the seafarers who have passed away with both the coronavirus and other illnesses. Our hearts hurt for them, for their families, for their friends and their co-workers. Some of these crew members who have passed away from the coronavirus have come to Alaska as seafarers on the cruise ships. Some of them we have known, shaken their hands, prayed with them. This is a time that we want to remember them. I'd like to say a few words today as a comfort for those family members back home, those fellow crew members, those friends who have had to say goodbye to their loved ones. The comfort we really have is from God. In fact, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 in the Bible, it says he is the God of all comfort. He comforts us in our tribulation, which means difficulty, hardships, with the only comfort that we can truly receive from him and from his word. The comfort we have today is that Jesus has conquered death. He is the victor. He has given us life after death through his payment for our sins on the cross and for now his resurrection. Today we happen to be standing on the Bay Resurrection Bay. Here is a time of memorial in a place that remembers the resurrection. Now Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is the access point, the gate, or the way to heaven. So when we say goodbye to our crew members or our family members, we actually have the confidence that we will see them again. Why? Because we have a Savior, they have a Savior, placing their faith in Him and Him alone. God, by His grace, gives us eternal life. One of the famous Bible verses is John 3.16 in the Bible. For God so loved the world, every crew member, that he gave his only begotten, which means born son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That life is through Christ. That life is our comfort. So instead of saying goodbye, we are saying, see you later. We will see you again in glory, in heaven, we will meet again. I cannot imagine the pain and the sorrow that many of you are experiencing, having your loved ones passing away alone in a uh, intensive care unit where they were isolated or quarantined until the time of their death. That is terrible. However, the great comfort we have from God is that he was with our family member, our fellow crew member, and he, with his angels, has taken that soul to heaven. This is the promise. This is the confidence that we have in the scriptures. I am thankful that I have a confidence that my loved ones, should they die in an accident or in some other way through a health disease, they also will be with me in heaven forever and ever because of God's promise of eternal life. As we end our remembrance or our memorial service, we're going to walk down to the edge of the ocean here and say a prayer. In many a time when a seafarer died on a ship and there was no way to bring that body back, they would dispose of the body into the ocean and commit it to the resurrection. And it is a very interesting how they would give a ceremony, a little service. They would say goodbye. They would have a prayer. And that's what I'd like to do today for our fellow friends and crew members and family members who have passed on. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give thanks today for the life that you gave our family members, our friends, our crew members. We thank you that you are the giver of life. And I thank you for their times in their home countries, on the ships, <clears throat> the life that they had. 
I just want to honor you today by giving you the recognition and the glory for life, for the beauty around us here today, for the opportunity to live on earth. Thank you for Jesus Christ who has given us eternal life. Thank you that his death on the cross paid for our sins and his resurrection is our hope of eternal life. I pray for the family members, Lord, who have suffered great loss of their uh, loved ones. We just ask, Father, that you would comfort them and strengthen them, provide for them financially, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. Give them comfort as only you can comfort. Just even guide and direct with uh, their lives and their decisions and commit our fellow friends and family members and co-workers to you and to your power and to your glory and to the resurrection that we have in Jesus Christ. We love you now. We trust you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. At this time, we would like to recognize some of the seafarers who have passed away. Thank you.